नमस्कार एवरीवन विल कंटिन्यू अवर आर्गो वर्कफ्लो इन अ ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट विल स्टार्ट विल टॉक अबाउट टू टॉपिक्स एंड टुडे वीडियोस माइट बी टुडेज वीडियो माइट बी वेरी स्मॉल वीडियो द फर्स्ट इज स्टेप्स एंड द सेकेंड इज डैग सो बोथ यू नो अचीव द सेम थिंग यूजिंग डिफरेंट मैकेनिजम्स सो you have so this is basically uh, you know you have multiple step workflow and those multiple steps is you can have you know some uh, steps in the workflow run one after another and the some steps run together let's say you have a then b then c and a first a runs then b runs then c and d run together after b then after c and d both are over then you want to run e so such type of uh, you know steps you can uh, con you know you can set up using steps in uh, argo workflow and even dag so we'll cover both so we'll go through this uh, yaml file uh, the main thing you want to see is that of course this is entry point hello 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 which is this, this name uh, you know in the argo workflow so this i will not go through we already covered the api version and kind is workflow now here you see uh, this temp this template hello 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 has multiple steps now the first step is hello one and if you see there are two uh, uh, hashes one after another and of course it uses some you know standard whale say template and it has these arguments uh, as uh, you know whale say template has you know uh, this parameters name and hello one now you see this double dash again uh, which means that this hello 2a will run after hello one which is a previous step uh, so it it will also use the same template it will print the message hello to him now what this now here this uh, next step hello to b has single dash which means that this can run parallelly this hello to b doesn't have to wait for hello to a to be over hello to a and to b can run parallelly <clears throat> but uh, this uh, you know uh, this both will run parallelly only when this first step is over and we'll see example of this so and then of course you know uh, this template is defined here this we have already covered correct so what we'll do is i uh, will go and run this once but let's see the um the yaml file one you know one more time on my terminal also so i'll do cat and it's the same yaml file so this is the you know you can see that this is the entry point Uh, hello 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 then this has uh, two dashes so this runs first then 2a and 2b run and uh, this is the you know uh, uh, in previous examples we have covered this uh, you know we'll say and whatever parameters it takes so now let's do submit this argo submit multi step workflow ml and we'll submit this and one more thing you can see the steps in this so i you know i have uh, put a list here also if you want to see uh, how it's before that let's see the you know the ui so this is still running steps so you can see the graphical representation so hello one rain first then these two are running and let's see what hello one has printed you can see the logs so it's waiting <laughs> so uh, so this is the message uh utc okay this is this exists so this, this is the hello one and uh let's see one more thing i wanted to see this is hello one now let's go to hello 2a hello 2b 2a and 2b are running parallelly so it doesn't matter which one we check first so this is hello 2b and then hello 2a and see the logs so this is hello 2a now you you can see this on the ui and you can also see using uh, let's go here you can you can see same thing using the command line so whatever i have pasted here let me uh, whatever it is here let me copy paste it so you can see the argo list so let's go here let's clear this off then argo list so it will show you the workflows which had which had been done right all the workflows now you want to see the detail of the workflow so you can say argo get workflow name so you can say argo get and this is the workflow name copy okay uh, it's you know, paste and you can see this right hello one rain first then hello two and to be rain uh, after hello one was over 
you can uh, get this argo get latest because this is the latest one we ran if you don't know the you know if you don't want to specify the web flow name you can say argo get latest and it will show you uh, the same thing here also it will show you some other information as well uh, which might be useful for your other purposes so that's about the multi step so now we'll talk about dag so <laughs> we'll go through this so uh, as it said, it's the alternative way of specifying sequence of steps. So either steps or using DAG. So DAG is direct acyclic graph, correct? And here you specify dependencies of each task. And we'll see an example of this. So same way, A runs first, then once A has finished, then B and C run in parallel. Then B and C both run in parallel, then D runs later, correct? And how it is achieved? Let's see this. So uh, this has, uh, you know, entry point as... Uh, uh, you know, diamond. So <coughs> uh, let's see. So these are templates. So this diamond. So it has DAG. So now here you see the you know uh, uh, the property name is DAG here, and it has multiple tasks. So first task is A, and it is using this template echo, and whatever the template echo says passes some message, and then B. So B here the key thing is B has dependency which is A. It says a array. But right now it depends only on A. So C also depends upon A. So once A is over, then B and C will automatically get triggered. And everyone is using the template eco only. Then D. D depends upon B and C. So once B is also over, C is also over, then uh, D will get triggered. So let's run this also. Uh, so before that, let's see DAG. This is exactly the same thing I have given here. So um, uh, you can see A has, uh, first A runs and B depends upon A, C depends upon A, then D depends upon B and C. So let's run this, Argo, submit, tag. So it's running and you can see on the UI also and of course on the command line as well. So this is running and you can see it's, it's still running A, you know, still starting A, so A got over. Uh, now B and C started to run. So let's see what's in the A. So you see the logs. It's waiting. So it printed A because that's what we have passed. And C logs. It's waiting. Printed C. And then of course it would, it would have printed B. Yes. Then it would have printed D. Correct. But you can see the sequence. The same thing we can see from here also. So you can see Argo get latest. You can see that. Here it is not showing properly. Uh, you know, first A should have run B and should have run parallelly, but you can see that on this uh, visual diagram, C and B are running parallelly. Here, the representation is not proper here. Okay, so that was about the DAG. Uh, so we covered two things, DAG and uh, sequence of steps. And uh, here A, B, C and is getting printed. Uh, now one more thing, couple of more things about the DAG. I will go over this. <coughs> It can have multiple routes and they have given example also. So let's open that. So like in you know, sometimes you, you know, sometimes you assume that there is only one root of a DAG, but you can have multiple routes. For example, A in this example they have given. So there are two routes, A and B. And uh, C depends upon A, I think D depends upon A and B. You can see that, right? D depends upon A and B, C depends upon A. So this is another way of, uh, so this is another way of giving this depends. And you can give this syntax also. In our example, we are given dependencies and given an array, but here you can see depends and you can give this way as well. So that is one thing. Other thing is, uh, <coughs> what if one of the uh, step fails, then what happens? Or one of the node fails? So, um, uh, so uh, one more before that. So uh, the template current asset can, so this is important. The templates called from a DAG or steps template can themselves be a DAG or steps template. Basically, what it's saying is you can you can have one DAG uh, being called from another DAG, right? Or uh, one set of steps being called from another set of steps. It's like a workflow having a, another workflow in between. So that's what it means. So this way you can become complex workflow pieces. And it also has a fail fast. But if something, you know, some step fails, then will it execute the subsequent steps? or it will fail the workflow at that time itself. So it, it can do both. So you will read this out. So that logic has built in fail fast feature to stop scheduling new steps. As soon as it detects that one of the, uh, as soon as it detects that one of the diagnosis failed. 
then it waits. So whatever when it's failed, then if if there are some other decks which are running, uh, while uh, you know let's say there are three you know steps which are running, one step failed, so it will wait for two steps to be over and it will just fail it. It will not execute for the steps. But that happens if the fail fast flag is set to true. But if and you can see they, they have given an example also for this. You know, uh, there's a fail fast. I think I had opened this also. So you can check this. So let me search for fail. Oh, here. So here in this thing, fail fast is equal to false. What happens when fail fast is equal to false? Uh, if it is false, then regardless of the failed outcome of branches or DAG, the all the steps will be executed. So you can read this. If the if the fail fast is set to false, it will allow a DAG to run all branches of the DAG to completion, either success or for failure, regardless of the failed outcome of uh, branches of DAG. So depending upon your use cases, uh, by default is set to true, but if you want to set it to false, you can set it if you want to run all the uh, steps, all the branches, irrespective of any of the previous step has failed or passed. So that is about it. Thank you for watching. Next time we will cover uh, other concepts of algo workflow. Thank you.